In this video, we're going to learn how to use grip boxes. All right, so this is the first tutorial where you'll need to open up a pre-done file. So go to the digital download contents and open up grip boxes student 2018. Once you have that opened, you'll see this drawing and you can see that it's quite a mess and we need to try to fix it and we're going to do that using grip boxes um, snaps and the properties all right so before we get, begin uh, save this under a different name i suggest grip boxes tutorial once you have that saved then we want to make sure our object snap our object snap tracking and our polar tracking is on and our dynamic input is off and then we want to set what object snaps we're going to detect so get into the object snap settings and we're only going to detect just a few so I'm going to clear all and then just detect endpoint center and perpendicular and then go OK. The first thing we're going to fix is corner A. Now the figure in the book labels all these corners. So we're going to fix this one first. You can see that this line is askew and needs to connect up with this corner. So we're going to click on it and you'll notice that these blue boxes appear. These are called grip boxes. I'm going to click on the last one here and you can see I can move and stretch this line. I'm going to go over to the end of the horizontal line until I snap to the end point and then just click. To exit the selection of that line hit the escape key and we're going to do the same thing to corner B over here. All right, so those two are corrected. Now we're going to go on to this line here, line C. And you can see that it's not vertical. So we're going to click on this line, click on the bottom grip box, and then we want to make it vertical. But how do we do that? Well, we need to acquire a point that we want to make it vertical with. All right, so we're going to acquire this top point because I know that this top point is where the line needs to come from. And if you're fixing one of your own drawings, then you'll know which point you need to acquire. And I will come down on the zero angle polar or the 270 angle and the zero angle over from the bottom line and uh, click. And there we go, we have a vertical line. The next thing we want to do is change this circle. We haven't talked much about um, different line types in AutoCAD yet, but maybe in your class you've talked about the different line types. Well, right now this circle, circle D, is in the hidden line type, and we want to change it to be uh, visible or continuous. So I'm going to click on it and up here in the top in the layers panel you'll notice that we have some layers and you'll be creating layers uh, in a upcoming tutorial but we're just going to click on this pull down menu and change it to a visible line and now we have a different line type. So there's a quick introduction to the power of layers. And like I said, you'll be introduced to layers in a later tutorial. The next thing we want to fix is this vertical line here. Now center lines indicate axes of symmetry. This is a hole that's going through this object 
and this is the center of the hole. So that's what this center line is indicating. And we never want to end center lines at an object. We always want them to go past the border of the object like this one. So we want to extend this and we're going to use the lengthen command. You can type in len in the command uh, prompt down here or we can select it in the modify. So here's the lengthen command. And what we're going to do is use a delta. So we want to lengthen this line by a certain amount. So I'm going to click on delta and put in 10 millimeters. And then all we do is hover over this and it's going to lengthen that line 10 millimeters. Hover over this, it's going to lengthen it 10 millimeters. So that's a really nice command to know. And I hit the enter to get out of the lengthen command. All right, now we're going to modify the drawing in uh, particular ways. We're going to concentrate on uh, the lower end of the figure. We're going to add fillets. We're going to add a fillet here and a fillet here. So we're going to use the fillet command and we're going to enter a radius, so radius of five millimeters and we'll just select the two lines. To repeat the command I'm going to hit the space bar and there we go. We have a couple fillets. Alright so we're going to add a couple more fillets and this time we're going to add them to this bottom two corners. I'm going to hit the space bar again to get into the fillet, but now I'm going to do a 10 millimeter radius. And instead of having to enter the command twice, I'm going to hit the multiple option. So now I do that and it remains in the command. So that's kind of nice if you have multiple fillets to do. You don't have to re-enter the command. All right, I'll hit enter to get out of the fillet command. All right, now we're going to modify this circle even more. We're going to change the diameter of it. Well, how do we do that? It's already, we already drew it. Well, we're going to enter the properties window. So in the view tab, there's a properties. So properties palette. So we're going to click on that. I'll drag it over so you can see it. And in this properties, you can see that there's a, a radius. So we're going to change the radius or the diameter, either one. Let's change the diameter. We'll change it to 30. So even in AutoCAD, which is pretty static once you've drawn a feature, uh, you can change it. So in the properties window, there's several things you can change. You can change the layer that it's on. You can change the line type. You can change, you know, where it's located, the center, the diameter, all of that. And it calculates things for you too. The circumference, the area. So this is a nice place to go if you need to change slight things that you've done. Okay, I'll close out of that. Hit the escape key. All right, so now you've noticed that the center line in the circle is now ending at the edge, and we don't want that. So we're going to use the lengthen command again. We're going to do a delta, and we're going to do a delta of 2.5 units. So we'll lengthen that one, lengthen that one. And that's just enough to get it past the circle's edge. The last thing we're going to do is to move these bottom features here. Now let me do a window this way. 
so that I don't have to enclose it. And I selected one thing that I didn't want to, so I'm going to deselect that. Let's see if I can. Oh. No, nope, I can't with uh, that, so let me just select them individually. There we go. Now I'm going to right click on this bottom middle grip box to get the shortcut menu and I'm going to move it. And then I'm going to click anywhere and use the polar tracking. So I'm going to get a 270 angle and enter 20 millimeters because I want it to go 20 millimeters down. And then I'll use the grip, the grip box at the end of the line to connect up with the fillet. All right, so that's the finished drawing. Let me zoom all. And zoom out a little bit so you can see it. All right, so just little fixes can be done with grip boxes and the lengthen command and uh, the properties menu. So don't think that you have to right away redraw something if you've made just a slight error. So I hope this tutorial was useful.